Oh man, today today is another day. We got some crazy stuff going on the way today. Oh dude, Discord is now uh, allegedly Discord is allegedly assigning gender to users with machine learning and <laughs> not only gender right it's also an age bracket like age verification based on the way you talk your tendency i don't really know how they're gonna dig into this with machine learning of all things machine learning is like a basic form of ai it basically learns itself discord like many other platforms uses machine learning and artificial intelligence for various purposes including ensuring the safety and security of its users specifically the use of machine learning to infer gender and age can serve multiple functions all right four functions one safety and moderation identifying the age of users can help in protecting younger users from inappropriate content and interactions we've seen this in commentary community we got a lot of stuff catboy ranch all that other kind of stuff going on with these discords it's crazy absolutely crazy. this is particularly important for complying with regulations such as the children's online privacy protection act the uh, copppa the copa copa aesthetic you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying which requires platforms to implement specific measures to protect the privacy and safety of users under 13 years of age now we've had a lot of issues with little kids and minors look at the art commentary community we had a lot of issues with underage kids going into these discords and just being bombarded with the most nsfw stuff you could see in mankind that's the most degenerative stuff you could ever imagine coming from these kinds of people uh two personalization by understanding the demographics of its user base discord can tailor the user experience more effectively right colors text big text small text just a whole bunch of stuff right this includes recommending communities content and features that are more relevant to users interests and preferences uh, if you play a lot of call of duty you talk about a lot of call of duty you're probably going to want to go into a couple call of duty servers you know what i'm saying it's that easy you know you like the color green uh, like Call of Duty, you probably like Modern Warfare 3, just stuff like that, right? It's super simple, super, super effective, right? It's just basically targeting. And speaking of targeting, we got number three, ad targeting. While Discord's primary revenue comes from its Nitro subscriptions, it could also use demographics information to help advertisers target their campaigns more effectively. Essentially doing what Facebook and Amazon and Google have been doing uh, for about 10 years now. It's a common practice across many digital platforms to increase the relevancy of ads shown to users. You like Once again, you like the color green, you like Call of Duty, you're probably going to get inferred to a Modern Warfare 3 server. Hey, did you buy Modern Warfare 3 yet? Boom. Super right there. Super, super chill, super on point ad targeting right there. Four, analytics, right? Collecting demographic data helps Discord understand its user base better, informing product development and strategic decisions to improve the platform. All right. We're in these discords. We're in these Call of Duty discords. Already bought my Modern Warfare from the ad targeting, bro. I got my custom loadout, custom Discord loadout. You know, it's green, looking cool. A big Call of Duty fan here. Um, but this update sucks, and the microphone sound horrible, and the spatial audio just sounds horrible. I can't even share my screen. This is it's a horrible experience, right? You just talk about how bad it is, and that's where the analytics come in. Why are people not using our share screen function? What's going on with that? Is there something wrong with it? Boom. Analytics. Now they're going to improve the, the app even more. These are all positive notes, by the way. There's a whole mess of cons we can get into. But anyways, Discord's use of machine learning to infer age and gender would typically involve analyzing patterns in user behavior, language, and possible other signals. It's worth noting that this interference is often probabilistic. Did I say that right? Additionally, these practices raise important privacy considerations and platforms must handle such data responsibly, ensuring transparency and user consent where applicable. If you have specific concerns or need detailed information about Discord's practices, uh, you can literally re refer to their privacy policy and reach out to the support team directly. They explain a whole bunch of this stuff. My, my concerns with this is what if I'm like a man child right now imagine i'm one of these soy boy commentators okay actually you know i can't even say that because i am one of them all right i'm a soy boy commentator in the commentary community you guys are watching this video right now right and i just had the most childlike brain this age regression thing in the art commentary community right and are they gonna say i'm 16 or am i gonna be 28 bro because that's gonna really fuck things up so there's gonna be a way for them to to absolutely mess with the system in a way right there's gonna they're still gonna get these problems and these people are gonna be locked into these age locked parties i hope that doesn't happen you know, they trick the system so they can get into underage discords. That's my biggest concern because that's what they're trying to combat. And it feels like it might actually just help them out. Biggest concern there. The other thing is, what if I'm just like a normal dude? I'm 21, but it just says I'm 17. Now I can't get into certain discords, bro. I can't get into certain like, like maybe like casino discord or, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I got to see it in full. Function. You can actually check this out for yourself, by the way. You can actually check out your data yourself. 
Uh, the data can be found in activities such analytics such events. There's a JSON file there for some Discord data packages, though the exact requirements are really unknown. Discord preview, the screenshot right here. They also shared a screenshot of the JSON file that shows the age and gender assigned to an unidentified user. The user in question is shown to be a male aged between 18 and 24. It's a generalized thing. Really helps you understand who you're talking to, what you're talking to. You never know. You really never know. I, I think it's going to be cool. I also think it's going to be like... If, if you want to talk about Discordian, this is real Discordian, in my opinion. Uh, Discord has shared an email statement with Dexerito regarding the discovery. Here's what the company had to say. Like other companies, we use information to help us understand our business and improve the product. That includes certain inferences we may make about users. We include this information in users' data requests for transparency, and users can limit the information we use by toggling the use data to improve Discord off in the privacy, privacy safety settings. The platform does not require you to add your gender, guys, so don't be worried about that. You can add your own pronouns. Um, that's also not required either. Do have to enter their data birth when signing up for an account so there is that so you really ideally you should be only able to access age appropriate servers while being age appropriate but people lie about their age all the time and it is what it is you know what i'm saying guys let me know what you guys think about this the predicted gender thing the predicted age thing on discord i think it's cool i can see a lot of drawbacks from it though it's a very slippery slope and very discordian ironic as it is to say that's very discordian and uh very like new world type stuff it's almost dystopian you know what i'm saying guys let me know what you guys think about this stuff in the comment section below like the video if you enjoyed plus uh subscribing if you're new hit that notification bell icon to bring you infamous notification squad as well as we hope you enjoy and i'll see you all in the next one